Hi team and welcome to Monday. I hope everyone had a fantastic weekend, uh, enjoyed some rest and relaxation, maybe a bit of family time. And uh, as always, thank you to those who uh, gave up some of their weekend uh, to help us out with some overtime. Uh, just on the last couple of weeks, we're certainly seeing strong support coming in from our business banking partners. Uh, the doc prep volumes have been uh, consistent with what we were seeing around June. Uh, that, of course, flows through to fulfilment, and, and those guys have certainly uh, had some, some bumper days uh, over, over the recent weeks. And we're seeing volumes, again, that are as, a, a, a consistent with that June-July period. And, of course, all of that has a flow-on effect into settlements. So I know the guys there have had some very, very busy days as well. So thank you very much to everyone who is working that little bit extra hard, uh, putting in some extra hours. It's certainly making a, a big difference as we continue to deliver great service to, to our uh, bankers and to our customers. And I'm pleased to say that our dashboards and our reporting our service levels have certainly uh, returned a little bit uh, to the green shade rather than the amber shade, which we were seeing uh, at the beginning of August and later in July. A uh, special big call out to the team in Melbourne. Uh, most of you will probably know that there was some flooding and water issues on the floor in Melbourne last week. Uh, things of now, I believe, are going to return to normal on Monday, but I just wanted to call out the team for the flexibility and agility that you displayed last week and just getting on and finding solutions to your, to your problems and, and still being able to work through and, and get our customers great outcomes. Uh, I know that you had to postpone your drinks event that was planned for last Friday. So hopefully, I think it's going to happen uh, this coming Friday. So I, I'm sure that everyone will uh, have a good time and enjoy that. Coming up this week, we've got all of the leaders uh, will be involved in the People Leaders Forum. So some of you might be aware that every half year, every six months, Brian Hartzer and the executive team uh, pull all of our leaders together just to provide a bit of an update on how the, the bank is going, how our performance is, is tra tracking, and also to give us a, a forward view on our strategy and what's coming up. And I think this will be a, a really important event this week because we've got, uh, we're have got we going into the next financial year, FY17 we call it, uh, which starts on the 1st of October. So it'll be good to hear from Brian and the senior leaders about uh, how we're tracking and what's coming up for us. Uh, some fantastic uh, presence from the business banking services team. Uh, we've we've actually got a, a few people from our team who are going to be starring in the People Leader Forums. In Melbourne, we've got Scott Kellett and Adrian O'Day who are going to be hosting a booth at the PLF. Uh, the booth is, is going to be a huddle booth. So uh, around our service promise, the, the guys Scott and, and Adrian will be uh, demonstrating best practice on huddles. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how the guys go there. We wish them luck. And in Sydney, uh, our very own Anthony Parker, who's part of our financial carding team, is going to star on the stage uh, for the Sydney uh, PLF, and that's on Wednesday. So good luck to Scott, Adrian and Anthony for their performances this week. We look forward to um, hearing how it goes, and um, I'm sure we'll all uh, be watching with great eagerness to, to, um, to support you from the sidelines. I think we're almost at a wrap, um, although I just did want to acknowledge Matt's uh, note that he sent out. I hope all of you had the chance to read about some of our people changes. So congratulations to Greg Haynes, who's going to be leaving us in a couple of weeks time to take up a new role in the retail bank. So well done uh, to Greg on, on securing that role. Uh, we will certainly miss him. He's been a fantastic uh, support for, for me since I've come into the role and I know has made a really big difference for business banking services over the last couple of years. Congratulations also to Alison Rowling in, in Melbourne, who has um, secured the relationship manager role. So uh, great, um, great vote of confidence for Alison. Uh, we certainly wish her well uh, continuing in that role. And also in Sydney last uh, Friday, we said goodbye to Ty Rash. Ty was the leader of our private bank team in Sydney. So Ty's uh, taken up a new role in home ownership services. We certainly wish Ty well. But also congratulations to Chantel uh, from, the, from the team, from the private bank team, who's going to be stepping up uh, as the leader in that team for the next couple of months. So we wish everyone well. And I think that is formally or officially a wrap now. So have a fantastic week, everyone, uh, and uh, look forward to giving you more updates next week. Bye.